Today we're watching uh, an independent movie that was on Netflix from eight years ago called Ark. What did you think? Ark A R Q is one of my favorite movies of all time. It's I give it a nine out of ten just because it's hard for me to give a ten out of ten to anything. However, it's one of the few movies that I've recommended to many people, and I've actually I've actually like forced them to sit down and watch it with me five separate occasions. Um, it's very good science fiction, and and it's low budget. Now now low budget sounds like it's like an insult, but like no no no, they get a lot of science fiction done without having to do lots of money, lots of, without having to do lots of special effects. Really, they start with a kernel of an idea, a, a scientific kernel, and the idea is that time is looping and then from there falls out the consequences falls out the the, the naturally arising drama it's, it's not forced it's it's given this this situation given this scenario what are the things are we going to encounter and so you don't need a lot of money to do that you need to captivate people's eyes might keep it cap, captivate people's minds and so i think this movie does that very well. And additionally, there's like this RPG fantasy aspect. You know what I'm talking about? It's like like every time you go in behind a door, in a new room, you go behind the door to check to see if there's something there. All right, like if you if you die to the boss in one way, you you go back to do the fight again and you do slightly different. And this is this is a Groundhog Day format and, and it satisfies that RPG fantasy itch. Now, one thing that's really cool about this this movie is that there are plot holes, which which sounds bad, but actually the more you watch the movie, the more they get filled in. It's actually, it's very cool, very unusual. Um, there are cons, however, to this movie. It's and I don't understand the edge of the time bubble at the towards the very end of the movie. We'll talk about it. And, and also, there's one decision that the main character makes that I really I don't think is right. But we'll see. What did you think about this movie? I also really like this movie. I gave it an 8 out of 10. I don't think it's a perfect movie, but for an independent sci-fi movie and a single set, it's it's I really, really enjoy it. Um, I think the casting and the acting is really good considering they're only working with a single house. Uh, like you, I feel like there's bigger events happening than just what's occurring inside the house. Um, I think it's an interesting use of the Groundhog's Day a premise, Groundhog Day premise, and I think you're right. Like, do you feel this? Like, what do, what could you do next time? Could he yeah. could he go over there instead of over here? And it is like fighting a boss in in a game where you sort of plan out your next move, but in real life. Um, and I did find the building the world outside of the house very compelling, and they did it with dialogue. It was just straight dialogue. What people say, they're talking about the block. They're talking about Taurus. They're talking about different things going on outside the house. And it's all contained within the house. But I feel like there's a larger world out there. I find that very compelling. Um, I also did like that Renton and Hannah have some serious character flaws, which we will, which we will talk about. Um, they didn't just make these people uh, straight up good people. There's They have... The characters have to deal with this world that is falling apart with these competing factions and they have to live within it and find their way, which means their character flaws are going to show. Um, so overall, I give it an 8 out of 10. Great independent, low-budget science fiction movie. Highly recommend it. I recommend it. I still recommend it.